Good day, learners! Welcome to our day one. Comparing the capacity of containers indirectly and using non-standard units. Class, have you noticed that when we drink juice, water, or milk, the glass or container we use may not always hold the same amount? Some can hold a lot and some can only hold a little. Today, we will learn how to compare the capacity of containers in two ways. By just looking indirectly and by measuring using objects like cups or spoon, non-standard units. Which one do you think can hold more water? Sometimes we can compare just by looking, but it is more accurate if we measure using the same unit. Comparing indirectly or by observation. We can compare containers by simply looking at their sizes. Which one has great or more capacity? A glass versus a bucket. The bucket has more capacity. Which one has more capacity? A lunch box versus a small plastic container. The lunch box can hold more food. Comparing by measuring non-standard units. If we want to be sure, we can measure by filling containers using the same unit. The pitcher holds five cups of water. The cup holds one cup. The glass holds eight spoonfuls of water. The bowl holds 15 spoonfuls. Jug is equals to 10 glasses of water. And kettle is equals to 6 glasses of water only. Let's try this. Look at the containers. Tell which one has the greater capacity. Bigger containers usually hold more, but it's best to measure using the same unit. Capacity tells us how much liquid or substance a container can hold. Let's try this. Write T if the statement is true, F if it is not. Let's try this. Write the correct answer. The amount a container can hold is called its blank. A tool we can use to measure capacity with a standard unit is a blank. A big bucket can hold more water than a blank. When we compare by looking, it is called comparing blank. A bottle that holds five glasses of water has blank capacity than one that holds three glasses. Always remember, capacity is the amount of a container can hold. We can compare containers indirectly or by using non-standard units. Welcome to our day two. 
estimating and measuring capacity using standard units, milliliters. Yesterday, we learned how to compare the capacity of containers by just looking and by using non-standard units like cups and spoons. But what if we want to be more accurate, especially when cooking, baking, making juice, or a milk? Today, we will learn how to estimate and measure capacity using standard units like milliliters. Look at the two bottles. Which one is bigger? How do we know exactly how much liquid it can hold? We use milliliters and liters as standard units of capacity. What is a milliliter? A milliliter is a standard unit used to measure small amounts of liquid. A 1,000 milliliters is equals to 1 liter. Tools used to measure capacity. Measuring cups. Graduated cylinders. Beakers. A small medicine cup holds about 10 milliliters. A spoonful of water is about 5 milliliters. A small glass of juice might hold 200 milliliters. A medium bottle of soft drink may hold 500 milliliters. A large jug of water can hold 1,000 milliliters or equals to 1 liter. Let's try this. Fill and measure. Let's try this. Write the correct answer. The standard unit for measuring small amounts of liquid is blank. One liter is equals to blank milliliters. A medicine cap usually holds about blank milliliters. We use a blank to measure milliliters exactly. A big water jug has a capacity of about one blank. Let's try this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Which is bigger? About how many milliliters does a spoon hold? A small bottle of water holds 500 milliliters. How many milliliters do two bottles hold? Which tool is best for measuring milliliters accurately? Which is the same as one liter? Always remember, milliliter is a standard unit used to measure small amounts of liquid. 1,000 milliliters is equivalent to 1 liter. We use measuring cups, cylinders, or bottles to measure in milliliters. Welcome to our day 3. 
estimating and measuring capacity using standard units, liters, and relating liters and milliliters. Yesterday, we learned how to measure liquid using milliliters. But what if the container is very big, like a water jug or a gallon of juice? Today, we will measure in liters. We will also learn how milliliters and liters are related. Look at the two bottles. Which one has more? How many 500 milliliters bottles do you think make one liter? One liter is equals to 1,000 milliliters. So, 2 times 500 milliliters equals to 1 liter. What is a liter? A liter is a standard unit used to measure larger amounts of liquid, like a pitchers, water jugs, and a big bottles. Relating liters and milliliters. One liter is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. Milliliters measure small amounts. Liters measure big amounts. Tools to measure in liters. Measuring jugs, cups mark in liters and milliliters, bottles labeled 1 liter, 2 liters, etc. A mineral water bottle is equivalent to 1 liter. A pitcher of juice is equivalent to about 2 liters. A small milk carton is equivalent to 250 milliliters or one-fourth liter. A large soda bottle is equivalent to 1.5 liters or 1,500 milliliters. A water jug is equal to 5 liters and also equivalent to 5,000 milliliters. Let's try this. How many liters? Let's try this. Write the correct answer. The standard unit for measuring large amounts of liquid is blank. One liter is equal to blank milliliters. A big soda bottle is usually blank liter. A 250 milliliters juice box is equal to Blank liter. A jug of three liters is equal to blank milliliters. Let's try this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Which is larger? A pitcher holds two liters. How many milliliters is that? Which is the same as one liter? If a bottle holds 750 milliliter, how many liters is that? Which tool can measure in liters? Always remember, 
we use liters to measure large amounts of liquid. We use milliliters to measure small amounts. One liter is equals to 1,000 milliliters. Measuring cups, jugs, and bottles are used to measure liters and milliliters. Welcome to our day four. Measuring and comparing the capacity of containers using standard units, liters, and milliliters. When we drink juice from a small glass, we usually use milliliters. But when we fill a whole jug of water, we use liters. Today, we will learn how to measure and compare the capacity of containers using liters and milliliters. We will also decide which unit is best to use depending on the container. Look at the pictures. Can we use liters to measure the dropper? Can we use milliliters to measure the gallon of water? We must choose the correct unit depending on the container's size. Standard units of capacity. Milliliter, used for small amounts of liquid. Liter, used for large amounts of liquid. A 1 liter is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. Tools to measure capacity. Measuring cups. Graduated cylinders. Beakers. Let's try this. Tell which one has the greater capacity. Let's try this. Write the correct answer. The unit used for small amounts of liquid is blank. The unit used for large amounts of liquid is blank. One liter is equivalent to blank milliliters. A medicine dropper is best measured in blank. A water jug is best measured in blank. Let's try this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Which has greater capacity? Which is the same as 2 liters? Which container is best measured in milliliters? If a glass holds 250 milliliters, how many glasses are needed to make 1 liter? Which tool is best to measure liters of water? Always remember, we use milliliters to measure small amounts and liters for large amounts. One liter is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. Choosing the appropriate unit makes measurement easier and more accurate. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.